Hey there, everyone. My name is Nathan, and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Boost Mobile LG Stylo 6, and the back has definitely seen better days there, as you can see. But this is a device that does have the Google Account Lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to this screen that tells us that it was reset. And to continue, we have to sign in with the previous Google account that was on it. And that's basically what the Google Lock consists of. Google initiated it as a security measure back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens these days in regards to the buying and selling of used mobile devices. So nowadays, when you factory reset an Android device without first removing the Google account that's on it, it's going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after doing the factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a disk on a seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled and then after the purchase the buyer discovered the phone was locked and obviously they didn't have the previous login information the seller usually had long since disappeared and it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in regards to the buying and selling of used mobile devices but we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this exact same model without having to have the previous Google login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this procedure is that it's something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to you through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now. So we're just going to go ahead and perform the steps here, the necessary to remove the lock just as visual proof that you guys or that you can actually see that we can indeed remove it without uh, us signing into our own Google account or any trickery like that. So we are currently running all the steps on the device necessary for us to be able to remove the lock. And then once it is done, we should be able to see that we can go ahead and get all the way through the setup steps without seeing that Google lock. The rest of the process is going to take just a couple of minutes here, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the rest of the video just to skip all through those so we can keep this as short and sweet as possible. So just hold on while I finish doing all of the rest of the necessary steps. Okay, we should be all set here. The device is now restarting. You can see the Boost Mobile logo there showing up. The Google Lock should be successfully removed. We're just going to let it finish turning on, and then we'll begin going through all the setup steps, and we'll see where we get to. Okay, so on our welcome screen here, we're just going to start going through everything step by step. We actually don't need a Wi-Fi network, so we're just going to go ahead and turn that off, and then tap Next, and keep going. Let's see, well, we just skip that. And I think that's the part where normally it would have given us the Google Lock screen like you were seeing before, prompting us to log in. So now it's just saying that we have to agree to all the Google services on the phone since it is an Android device. So not seeing that is a good indication that the lock has been removed. We don't need a screen lock, so we skip that step two. And, okay, and there's the terms and conditions that we have to agree to to use the phone. So we're going to tap on those and then hit done. And then I think we should be all set. Yep. There we go. We've got the home screen loading up. 
It looks like we have full access to all of the apps and settings and features and everything on the phone. And it is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you and confirm exactly what we are working with here. So under system and then under about, we can indeed see that we have an LG Stylo 6 and then that model number there, the LMQ730TM. That is the model number of the Boost Mobile specific version of the Stylo 6. So if you have one of these devices and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.